Some years ago in Germany, there was a, an event that took place that would turn out to be momentous for the Austrian school and uh, for the cause of freedom and reason as well. Uh, Jürgen Habermas, the top Marxist in Germany, had a brilliant student uh, who had been raised up in socialism. And uh, that young man, Hans Hoppe, came to the conclusion that socialism was not only deeply amenable to uh, human flourishing, but of course deeply immoral as well. And uh, so this young man who could have had and was certainly on, headed to a brilliant establishment academic career, uh, ending in a chair at a top university, um, didn't have that kind of a career because he chose the truth uh, as versus to go along, uh, in the same sense that, of course, Mises and Rothbard did as well. Uh, this young man later uh, wrote to Murray Rothbard, and I can still remember Murray's excitement in getting this letter from Hans that he wanted to come and study with Hans in New York. And uh, this had never happened to Murray before. It should, of course, have happened to him. Uh, but here was a, a student worthy of him, colleague worthy of him, uh, 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 what developed into a deep friendship. Uh, Hans uh, went to New York, studied with Murray. When Murray later was uh, able to get a, his first uh, chair and his first uh, uh, appointment with graduate students at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, he worked to bring Hans there with him, and together the two of them uh, established a center for Austrian economics and for uh, libertarian political theory that uh, while it was allowed to flourish uh, before the <coughs> a Marxist uh, became dean and other, <laughs> other remember Murray was saying all deans are evil. I hope we don't have any deans here, but <laughs> <laughs> one of Rothbard's laws. Uh, so to the, to, you know, they developed this and of course Hans has gone on in uh, a tremendous number of books in uh, teaching and example to uh, carry the Rothbard tradition forward. And uh, all I can say, Hans, is if Murray were here today, he would be definitely saying, attaboy, Hans. <laughs> and so I'm just thrilled and honored on behalf of the Mises Institute, Jeff Deist, and all of us to present to Hans today the Murray and Rothbard um, Medal of Freedom. This is made possible by the late George Connell, was a Rothbardian engineer in Parachute, Colorado. I always love the name of that town. And uh, uh, he would be thrilled as well that Hans was receiving this medal. It's uh, tremendously well-deserved. Dr. Hoppe. just want to say thank you very much and express um, my, my luck and fortune that I met Murray Rothbard, who is, in my view, of course, the greatest of all social theorists who ever lived. Um, I met many extremely bright men in my life. I never met a person like Murray Rothbard. Um, Murray was a genius. Um, I always felt a poor soul as compared with, with him. I've never met anybody like him. Uh, he knew uh, more than anybody else seemed to know. Uh, he worked with an enormous speed. Uh, he was witty and uh, humble uh, and was an inspiration uh, for all who had contact with him. Um, that the last 10 years of his life, except for his wife, I probably spent more time with him than anybody else. This, I will be eternally grateful for this fortune that uh, was bestowed on me. Thank you.